Hello divers, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips and techniques video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to store your gear when you're using a backplate and wing. A common question of new plate and wing owners is where do I put my gear? Let's talk about uh, different types of carry options next. So uh, one of the common ways of uh, hanging items uh, is uh, by putting it on a D-ring. Uh, of course, uh, that depends upon uh, what type of item you're going to be uh, uh, carrying. Uh, another common one uh, is to use uh, exposure suit pockets. Uh, most uh, dry suits uh, come with uh, different pockets uh, and uh, also uh, there are people who dive in wetsuits that uh, can glue pockets on uh, the wetsuit legs uh, so that's another option uh, for people who have a dry suit that does not have pockets um, or a wetsuit that do not have pockets that are not willing to glue them on uh, another option is to use pocket shorts uh, most of the manufacturers uh, have different types of um, pocket shorts. Some of them are made out of neoprene and some of them are made out of fabric. Uh, another option uh, is the use of a butt pouch to carry different items. And uh, this is something that uh, is uh, more common with side mount divers, uh, but some back mount divers do do this, uh, use a, um, a butt pouch. And then the last option, which is much less common than any of the others, uh, is to carry uh, your items uh, in a, a belt pouch affixed to your uh, harness waist belt. Here's the gear that I'll carry on a typical uh, serious ocean water dive. Uh, we'll go through these from left to right. Uh, the first is defog. I'll normally carry that for uh, convenience. I'll typically carry two DSMBs, uh, one small DSMB uh, and one much larger DSMB. Uh, two reels with the uh, double ender bolt snaps. I'll also carry a signal mirror. Let's see if I can get this out signal mirror. This is a stainless steel one, so I don't have to worry about it um, scratching too much. I'll also typically carry a secondary light uh, on um, a more serious technical dive uh, or a night dive. I will also carry a primary light. And uh, I'll also usually carry um, uh, one of these star multi-tools and an O-ring uh, uh, O-ring holder with a variety of uh, different O-rings in there. So what we're going to be looking at is uh, how can you carry uh, all of this gear. So some people don't like to use D-rings uh, to carry uh, some of this type of gear, uh, in particular uh, the DSMB. Uh, I've seen many cases both uh, on the dock and in the water where people's DSMBs have uh, become loose and uh, are trailing behind them. Uh, other people uh, may not have pockets, uh, and so if either one of these is the case, uh, you don't like to use D-rings uh, and you don't have pockets, uh, what can you do? The butt pouch approach to storing gear uh, is something uh, very common to uh, side mount divers uh, as uh, a result of them uh, sometimes having difficulty accessing uh, the front of their um, uh, area on their belt. Uh, and so uh, there's two different varieties. Uh, I'm sure there are many others, but there's two basic varieties. Uh, the first variety is uh, a mesh uh, type uh, pouch. Uh, this particular one's uh, made by uh, Excess Scuba or marketed by Excess Scuba. And uh, it's quite large. There are different sizes. Uh, I prefer the larger size one. Uh, which is big enough for a very large uh, DSMB and also a, uh, and a finger spool. Uh, the other type of pouch, this one's made by Dolphin Tech, um, IST Sports. Uh, this one um, has uh, uh, two little uh, D-rings here uh, that are typically 
uh, attached uh, with double enders uh, to the back of your um, uh, the back of your rig, uh, your side mount rig or uh, your back mount rig or whatever you have. Uh, so one of the issues with these pouches are obviously uh, being able to access them uh, while in the water. And so uh, one of the general concepts is uh, to be able to uh, unsnap the pouch, access whatever the contents of your pouch are, uh, and then uh, once you're done with it, uh, snapping back your, uh, uh, your pouch uh, to your uh, rear D-rings. Uh, so this is, uh, this is one approach. Uh, on a serious dive, uh, I will typically carry one of these uh, with an extra large DSMB and also a uh, large uh, finger spool. Uh, I will also usually carry a, uh, a reel on my right hand side, uh, but this is uh, for a standard, um, not uh, too serious uh, technical dive. I will uh, typically carry this um, uh, uh, on uh, different dives. For front mounted pouches on your BCD, uh, there's a wide variety of pouches that uh, you can use and I have a, uh, a good selection here. Uh, for uh, an individual who only wants to carry something like defog or a small tool, uh, you can actually use a, uh, a weight pouch. Okay, so this is actually originally designed as a weight pouch and it has both the buckle and the Velcro closure, uh, so some people will use that. Uh, another thing, uh, another way that people go uh, sometimes is they try to uh, use uh, a, um, a Molly tactical pouch. Uh, there's uh, tons of these on the internet. Uh, and uh, this one, for example, has a front pocket. It has a main pocket here. Uh, it has some Molly webbing here to attach things. Uh, and then it has uh, the Molly attachment on the back. Um, these can be used. Uh, one of the things that um, you'll possibly have a problem with, unless you modify it, is a lot of the hardware, uh, the snaps, are um, not rust resistant. They're made out of some kind of uh, uh, cheap metal, and they have a tendency. Uh, they have a tendency to. Uh, they have a tendency to rust. So um, uh, this is certainly one option uh, that people uh, have used in the past uh, in order to uh, carry some additional gear uh, on their on their waist belt. Here's a uh, pouch that is um, specifically designed uh, for scuba use. Uh, it is a, uh, made by or uh, marketed by Excess Scuba, this Highland pouch. And it has, um, it has the front pouch again, and then it has uh, the main pouch in the back. Uh, and then on the back, it has the ability to be hung as a butt pack. Uh, as well, and it has uh, two Velcro, uh, two Velcro loops um, to secure this to your um, your waist belt. Uh, so this is a um, just another option. This particular bag uh, just came out uh, for Vima uh, 2020, so it's uh, relatively new on the market. So this bag is uh, actually an X Deep bag, uh, and uh, I uh, modified this bag by putting on a uh, easy cut uh, Trebo light uh, onto the front. Uh, there's like an X Deep logo on the bottom uh, underneath this. Uh, and so uh, that is modified uh, in that way. This uh, X Deep pouch has uh, a smaller pocket in the front and a larger main pocket. And in the main pocket, there's a little window down in the bottom. I think the reason why they say they have that is in case you are storing your flashlight in the pouch uh, that uh, if it accidentally went on, you would be able to see it. Uh, and it has, uh, it has rings to secure your gear. Uh, it has the, um, uh, the two uh, uh, D-rings, small D-rings here for a back carry. So in order to use this particular pouch, uh, I've added these two uh, strips of webbing so it can actually go on a waist belt. Uh, it's not originally designed for that. It was probably designed to be used with their stealth side mount BCD. And uh, I also added a, um, another strap here, uh, which uh, my crotch strap goes through uh, so that um, uh, it doesn't uh, interfere with anything. So this is the uh, X Deep pouch, uh, just another uh, uh, possibility that you can use. In this uh, segment, we're going to talk about uh, how to actually put uh, a pouch on the front uh, of the waist belt. So, uh, the first thing that you need to do is uh, you need to uh, set up your uh, buckle 
uh, in your wedding uh, so that um, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to have the buckle uh, on your left side so it's going to be offset. And so um, what you do is uh, uh, simply uh, put the uh, waist belt uh, through uh, the pouch and uh, you carry it uh, on your side here uh, in front of you like this and then uh, your buckle uh, goes, uh, goes right here. Okay, so um, that's like the simplest implementation of this. Uh, one of the things I do so that the pouch does not slide back and forth is that I use a tri-glide. Actually, uh, most of the time I use two tri-glides. And so what you can do with the tri-glide if you have um, narrower webbing, uh, like the half-inch webbing here, uh, is you can take the tri-glide and you can weave the tri-glide through and then weave it through the webbing and then weave the tri-glide uh, back through. Okay, so you could use one or you could use two. I usually use two. Okay, so that's uh, how you affix it uh, to your, um, uh, to your uh, webbing. So typically, you can take your crotch strap and your crotch strap uh, can go through the bottom because you're now using this in the center. Oops, backwards. Actually, it has to be adjusted. Uh, it will go through, uh, it will go through uh, something like this. Of course, we would have to adjust the, uh, the D-ring down here further and uh, the loop here. Uh, would be going through uh, would be going through your waist belt uh, on the back on the back here, so um, that's another uh, thing that you would need to take into consideration. Okay, so this is the basic setup uh, for putting the uh, pouch on there. Uh, one of the big questions is is um, is it bulky? Does it get in the way? Uh, there's not normally anything in front of you, uh, so it's not really interfering with anything. Uh, so um, it's, uh, I think uh, it is in a very good position um, uh, to be uh, used uh, for uh, general diving. I was watching the SEAL Team uh, TV show uh, last week and uh, during one of the scenes uh, they had the individual uh, on the SEAL Team uh, by the name of Sonny who is from Texas. And in a very brief scene, uh, they showed Sonny uh, checking uh, to be what looked like a tactical plan uh, on, his, um, on his harness, on his gear harness. Uh, and so uh, when I saw that scene, uh, I had an idea uh, that had to do with uh, diving. And uh, so um, this is what I did. I thought that uh, since the front of the pouch uh, that is front mounted on the belt uh, only had a knife or a cutter here uh, that a lot of this space would go to waste and so uh, what I decided to do was uh, to cut off on one of my pouches I decided to cut off the uh, tribolite sheath that I had there and uh, I decided to install a wet notes okay so uh, for those of you that don't technical dive, um, you may not appreciate this, uh, but when you do a technical dive, one of the things that you should always have is a backup plan. And so you keep your backup plan on your wet notes, which will typically uh, be in your right pocket. Uh, and uh, if you want to consult your wet notes, your deco plan, uh, you would pull your wet notes out of your pocket uh, and then take a look at them um, and then uh, possibly put them back. So the idea that uh, I had from watching the SEAL Team episode was that I can actually affix uh, a wet note. This is a standard uh, wet note. Uh, and uh, I sewed it to the front of the area on the pouch that was unused or was previously used by uh, the Tribo Light. And so, uh, of course, um, uh, if you sew this on there, uh, it will open up. So then the next thing that I had to do was I had to put a little... Uh, bungee here to keep this closed. So the way this uh, works, the idea uh, of it works is uh, when you want to look at your notes, you take off the bungee. You don't really have to take it off. You just look down. 
but you take off your bungee and then you just flip up the uh, cover, uh, the window of the wet notes, okay, so that you can see uh, what your decompression plan is. Uh, if you need to actually start writing messages on there, uh, you can actually just easily take this whole thing out uh, and uh, write your notes on it and then put it back when you're done. Uh, but the, uh, this provides a quick access uh, reference uh, to looking at your wet notes. So uh, I'm sure that this is going to upset uh, a bunch of uh, DIR divers, okay, uh, uh, having looked at this because, uh, oh my God, I'm not going to have my wet notes. Uh, in my right hand pocket, uh, but uh, uh, we uh, at this dive shop, uh, we are not uh, strictly DIR divers and uh, we are open to uh, different ideas on how to uh, possibly do things better. Now I'm sure there's also going to be a DIR person out there that's saying that this is a gear solution to a skills problem. Uh, that particular phrase I believe is overused and could be applied to almost anything. Uh, but this does alleviate the um, problem of having to look at your uh, uh, pull your wet notes out of your pocket, look at them, and put them back in. So uh, I have not yet dove with this configuration on a decompression dive. I'm looking forward to doing that, and I will report back on uh, how well it worked. But in theory, uh, it appears that it will work. Uh, it will work very well. That's the video for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can email us. Chris with Dive Zone Scuba.